Hey, how you doing? It's your boy Burn, and we're back at it again. Now, today's video, we're going to be making RC spur gears. Now, on my current Rustler 4x4, I upgraded it to a brushless and LiPo battery, and I ended up tearing apart the spur gear because I had the mesh set incorrectly because I also upgraded the pinion gear. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, basically, in it's made to go fast now. Uh, it's estimated to go about 60 miles an hour or so. And I also have upgraded tires on it. So I figured, you know what? I have a 3D printer. Let's see how different materials hold up to being a spur gear. So I have about five or six different options that we're going to test out today. Now let's go ahead and let's get into it. Now here's my current RC car. Like I said, it's a Rustler 4x4. And I did upgrade it to the brushless motor kit and LiPo battery. So it does have more power even just with that. But then I also did upgrade the pinion gear and tires. So it does go faster than just the motor and battery alone. So here is my old spur gear. And you can see where it's eaten up quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and 3D print some new spur gears and see how they compare with different materials. Here we have six different 3D printed spur gears. So we have PLA, resin, TPU, PETG, ASA, and nylon. I did need to buy an enclosure for the ASA and nylon because they are prone to warping, but I didn't want to make a nylon gear because most RC components are made out of some kind of nylon, whether glass filled or a composite of nylon and something else. But I'm really excited to see how that one's going to turn out. I do believe this one should last the longest. But the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to do PLA first, then resin, TPU, PTG, ASA, and then nylon. So in that order, that's how we're going to be testing them. If I can go at least an hour on each gear, I'm going to call it a win. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to say it's not worth the time and effort. I feel like these two are definitely going to last the longest. But I'll keep you guys updated. You know, let's get these installed, starting off with the PLA. All right, here's the test with the PLA spur gear. Now, I do abuse the my rc car i go hard with it so we will see how this holds up so far so good Things a little fast. Uh oh, I hear it. That's it. All right. Let's inspect this and see where it went wrong. So here is the aftermath of our PLA gear. And you can see some teeth just got completely eaten up. Completely missing and some of them look absolutely fine. So now that we've evaluated that, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is going to be resin. Running with the resin gear now. Now it did crack a little bit during assembly, but it didn't crack all the way through, so it should be able to hold up a little bit. But again, I don't think the resin is going to be that strong anyways, so let's see how this goes. Oh, that was right away. <laughs> Not even five seconds, right away. As soon as I went full throttle, and gave out. 
Well, let's look at this and see what happened now. So here's the aftermath of the resin gear. It didn't do what I thought it was going to do, which I thought it was going to crack in half. But it actually just shredded the teeth off. And we can see the aftermath of all the teeth shredding off. <laughs> Left a lot of little bits inside of the gear casing. But now on to our third contestant, TPU. All right, here we are with the TPU gear. Now, I don't have much expectations for this. This is more of just a, let's see what happens if it does it. Now, I'm assuming that this is probably gonna react as much as the resin gear and probably just disintegrate right away. But let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yep, only about five to ten seconds. And she's done. Alright, and here is the aftermath of the TPU. Again, the teeth just shredded off. However, what's nice about that is that everything melted back together and made it for easy cleanup. I was going to do all six gears in this one video, but it's taking quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. So we're going to stop it here. Call this part one with the wheat gears as right now we have pla as the standing winner out of the three gears that we did test it didn't last that long but it did last the longest out of the three so we're gonna go into part two with the petg the asa and the nylon and see how those stack up because this did take quite a bit of time if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up and subscribe as is the time taken to Get the filament set up, dial in the filament, get all the gears printed, and swapping everything out is taking quite a bit of time. So give me the support, and I'll see you guys in part two. Peace out.